Welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. It is episode two, and a bit has happened in between episodes. I've made a mess, basically. And, um, yeah, we are producing everything that we can produce right now, except, well, we can't even produce uh, reinforced uh, plates. So we are, in fact, producing everything that we can. We are producing concrete. We are producing uh, screws. We're producing rods somewhere. They are being produced. Why are you not getting any... Oh, are you not hooked up? You're not hooked up. That would probably be why. Let's hook you up. There we are. We have 70 megawatts of power and we're using around 50 something 55 so so we we're, we're using basically all our power at the moment but we can set up some more so yeah rods screws concrete uh, iron plates we're producing we are producing wire and we are producing cable in this mess of a factory let's just try um organization lookout tower let's just try cl climbing up here and have a look see how messy it actually is so yeah it's pretty messy it's pretty messy but that's what a factory looks like in its early days guys so it's okay well I'm stuck. Wow, this is gonna hurt. Yep, yeah, it did. Okay, so now that we have all these things being made, and I also unlocked a couple of uh, milestones. Let's just have a quick look at that. So yeah, I've unlocked base building. We did that in the first episode, I believe. Then I have unlocked uh, logistics because I need the needed the splitters and mer and well basically the splitters, not the murders, or the lifts yet. And then I unlocked field research, uh, mainly because I wanted inventory slots. So yeah, it did also unlock the MAM, so we need to build one of those at some point. Uh, but we have a lot of milestones to go. Uh, so we have uh, the part assembly, which will give us the assembler, which would allow us to make um, reinforced plates and of course rotors, modular frames, copper sheets and smart plating. Then we have obstacle clearing which gives us the chainsaw, solid biofuel and inventory slots which might not be bad. We have the jump pads, we don't need those just yet. Then we have the awesome sink and the awesome shop. I would really like those but we don't actually need them just yet. And then we have uh, Logistics Mark II, which will give us faster conveyor belts, stackable conveyor poles, and conveyor lift Mark IIs. That's a very nice one to get. But for now, we're actually going to build the space elevator. Uh, because I want to see what we're sending. So let's build that. Let's just stick it in there. Look at that, all the stuff flying out to build it. It looks pretty cool. And something is gonna come down from the sky. There it is. Come on. You can do it. There it comes. Lying down, and it's gonna hook up to the claws here, and there we go. Space elevator set up. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see. It wants smart plating as the first thing 50 of that to unlock tiers three and four so what i am uh, 
basically aiming for in a straight line is to get uh, coal power because I hate having to put biofuel and stuff. So we need to unlock a part assembly to be able to make smart plating. So we need some stuff. Let's select the milestone and stick in what we have that it needs. And let's see, do I have anything in here that it needs? No. Okay. Let's go grab what it needs. Uh, we could actually use... Do we have wire on us? We have wire on us. So we don't need that. We need some cable. We actually have enough. Cool. Uh, then we need some screws. We have enough of those too. Let's just grab all of them. We need plates, which we have here. And we actually have enough of those too. So we can send that off straight away. So let's go ahead and do that. Our screws, our plates. Oh, I don't have enough. Well, I can do math me. Okay, so it's going to take a little while to get that ready. Okay, uh, by the way, I also started setting up a platform over here for our uh, starter base. I, granted, this is a starter base as well, uh, but a little bit more organized starter base uh, is the idea. And we're going to do that over here. I've set up a small platform. It's going to need to be a lot bigger. And it'll also be ooh, bacon. It'll also be um, taller. We'll have several floors, but it's there for now. So that is pretty cool. And it's a decent view that we have here. Decent view. So let's go see how many of these plates we have. I don't think we have enough left. Enough yet. We need 80 and we probably have around 20. No, 34. So yeah, I'll let that uh, run for a bit and then I'll be back because just waiting around for that is boring. So see you in a sec, guys. Right, so we have all the stuff that we need now, so we can stick in some more iron plates, and we can launch this bad boy again to unlock part assembly, Milestone and reached. off the New pod goes. Of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project nice. parts are too complex to produce by hand. Off the pod goes, almost hitting the space elevator. It did hit the space elevator, it went straight through it. Uh, but okay, so now yeah, we, we can't. Copper sheet needs copper ingots. So we can make that, but we can't make the other thing. Hmm. Let's stick down an assembler and just see. Uh, production, assembler. Ooh, we need rotors for that. Okay. I think we can make some rotors. Alright. Rotors, yep. Yeah. Let's just make... Let's just make the 12. Because we're going to need them anyway. Because we need to send those uh, special plate things, smart plate, wasn't it? So let's take a look what it takes to make those. There we go, an assembler. Okay, smart plating needs... wow. Okay. It needs a rotor and a 
reinforced iron plate. Okay, but it's only 50 of them it needs, right? So, if we go grab a bunch of screws, and we grab some, I think we need rods for the rotors. Let's just grab that. Then, oh, new, more power nuts. They do regrow now, which is nice. Now, I am thinking that I will install some mods for, for this uh, playthrough. Nothing, uh, like, really game-changing. It's mostly, for instance, uh, I want uh, foundations here. I want uh, inverted ones where they are basically upside down for the slopes here. I want, uh, there is a mod that allows you to build farms as well, where you can grow barrel nuts and all, all that stuff. So I think that could be kind of fun and reasonable. If, if, we can, if we can build a massive factory, then I'm sure we can grow some carrots or <laughs> potatoes or something as well. Uh, we should be able to, right? And I think for, for now that might be it. I might install... Uh, permanent daylight uh, mod as well because it does get quite dark uh, at night especially for uh, YouTube videos so I think I might do that about let's see uh, how many rotors can we make we can make a few all right so I think I'll uh, whip up some uh, some rotors and some uh, reinforced plates and then I'll be back so that we can send off the space elevator. So see you in a few, guys. Right, so we have everything we need to make this. So we can stick in these, we can stick in these. And it'll start producing smart plating. It'll take a while, but it'll start producing it. And I did need to send set up an extra... A biofuel burner here for it because it take the assemblers cost 15 watts and once in a while we were using 55 point something watts and we only had 70 so I didn't want to risk going over so yeah we you saw there we just went over 70 70.3 something like that so yeah we, we go over once in a while those 70 that we had so an extra biomass burner has been set up now while that thing uh, makes. Oh, I'm missing reinforced iron plate. Ah, that's because I stuck it in there. Okay, let's just make five more. I can't even make five more because I need screws. Oh, well, let's just make some screws so we can make two more. There we go. Okay. Because I had made the plates for the, for the ma'am here. So there we go. And let's have a look what the ma'am does. So we can research stuff. And this is all new. I like the new research trees. So let's start researching. Uh, we can grab that. We can grab that. Uh, we can grab the bacon. We have the barrel nuts. I don't know how long it'll take. So, but... Uh, uh, three seconds, okay. That's not too long. Analysis complete. Cool. New recipe unlocked. Alright. So, New structure research analysis. available in the MAM. Okay, so we can research some new biomass thing, I guess. Uh, let's research you. Okay, it's the same thing, basically which is to be expected. And then we can do flower petals. Uh, oh, I don't know I didn't take the flower petals. Let's take those. And do some flower petal research. 
start research. While we're doing this, I just want to mention that we also, uh, last week, started a new series of Space Engineers. So, there are like five episodes out now of, uh, of Season 3 of Space Engineers. I'll put a card uh, in the top right corner in case you're interested in going taking a look. Which I, of course, hope that you are. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so we can build color guns. Well, we can research color guns. But we need some screws for that. Let's wait with that. We can research the barrel nuts. There we go. New object added to the object scanner. So, ah, so now we can scan for barrel nuts. Okay, we don't have any of those. We can research the bacon, the garrick. Confirm. Nice. And that's it for now. Wow, there's a lot of research down here. An unknown metal. Um, fungus like vegetation. Strange energy readings. Unknown crystalline min mineral. Unknown chemical element. Okay, so there's a lot to research. Cool. I like it. And then there's, of course, the hard drives, which will give us uh, new recipes, which is also cool. Let's see, how far are you? You've made eight. That's going to take a while, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Eight. All right. Well, maybe we can do some unlocks in the meantime. Obstacle clearing will take... Some screws. What about logistics mark two? Ooh, a lot of reinforced plates. Okay. Well, I think I actually want obstacle clearing to get the solid biofuel. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We'll stick these in there. We'll stick that in there. We'll go get some more concrete and some more screws. Screws we have over here. Do we have enough? No, not yet. Concrete we definitely have enough of. Let's just grab some. And, whoops. I think I'll grab a few rods as well. And maybe some plates. Okay. So how many screws do we have now? 355, so we need a few more. That's okay. Let's stick all of this stuff in here that we don't need to research anymore. There. Let's grab some biofuel. And go make sure that our biomass burners are topped up. Stuck. Okay. And that'll give us some more screws. I don't know how many. Not not the 145 that we need, that's for sure, but some. Two one. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. Okay. Let's just uh, make some more screws. It won't take too long to get us up to 145 of those. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying uh, Satisfactory and that you want to come back for more. And if you are enjoying it, why not leave a like? Uh, because that makes me happy. And that is, of course, your mission in life to make me happy. I'm fully aware of that. Uh, what are we missing? A little bit of... Uh, there. Launch the pod. And we have obstacle clearing. And uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, why not subscribe as well, so that you know when new videos are, co are coming out. That, of course, requires you to hit the notification bell also. Alright. Off the pod goes for three minutes. And now we have obstacle clearing, which means 
But we can make a chainsaw. Uh, if we have some more screws and some reinforced plates. Okay. It's not too bad. Well, uh, it's going to take a little while though, and it'll also take a little while to get our smart plating going. So I'll be right back when those things are ready. See you in a sec. Right, I think our machine here is done, but let's just check here. I am making a solid biofuel because that is way more efficient than just the biomass. And I have filled up all our biomass burners with uh, so solid fuel as well. So we have solid fuel in all of these guys. Let's just top them up. But they are so much more efficient. You can see how slowly they go down here. And so that is really nice. And that makes biofuel a little bit more viable, I'd say. So that's a good thing. That is a good thing. All right, let's see. Yes, smart trading is done. Woohoo! Let's send it off. 50. There's smart trading in there. And let's unlock tiers 3 and 4. And see what it'll take to get us to cool power which is our big goal at the moment there it goes it's going pow and off it goes cool that is so cool i love that thing all right let's go have a look at tiers three and four Two, three, coal power. There it is, right there. Wow. Coal generator, water extractor, pipelines, fluid buffers, and a scanner update for coal. 150 reinforced plate, 50 rotors, and 300 cables. 300 cables are not a problem. These are a bit more of an issue. Hmm. Vehicular transport, tractors, and the truck station. We won't be using that very much because I just find they... It's certainly not in an area where we are going to be anywhere around. We won't be using it because they're, they're just too bugged, uh, really. They're not necessarily bugged, but they're... <laughs> they're uh, their navigation software could use an update. Let's put it that way. Okay, basic steel production, uh, foundries, steel ingots, steel beams, steel pipes, and versatile frameworks, whatever those are for. And then we have advanced steel production, minor mark two, encased industrial beams, stators, motors, automated wiring, and heavy modular frame. I'm guessing automated wiring, yeah, send up the space elevator, and I guess, uh, is this for the space elevator as well? Yeah. Okay, improved melee combat, Sino Basher, that's going to be handy. And then we have hyper tubes, which are going to be handy as well. And Logistics Mach 3, which will give us bigger storage containers, conveyor belts Mark 3, conveyor lifts Mark 3, and stackable pipeline support, which is all going to be very useful. So we're definitely going for coal power as the next thing on our list yeah no doubt about that I want that coal power I want that coal power that's going to be our next thing and then after that it's going to be logistics Mach 2 which we're actually almost at but not quite yet not quite yet but yeah, Space Elevator has been off, and it's back already. Good job, Space Elevator. And we have pretty decent uh, production of everything. 
almost uh, all the simple stuff, all the stuff that doesn't need uh, an assembler, <laughs> the two input thing. Everything that doesn't need that actually has very decent production. And we have unlocked tier th 3 and 4, and I am a happy camper right now. Yeah, I am. So yeah, um, I hope you're enjoying uh, Satisfactory, and I hope you'll leave a like that you are. Let me know that you are enjoying it, and also comment. I love getting comments. I read them all. I reply to most of them. And if you are new to the channel, why not subscribe as well? Hit the notification bell so that you know when new stuff is coming out. We are playing a lot of games at the moment. Uh, we're, well, we're playing four games, I think. Five? Five games? We're playing Factorio Multiplayer with ST Hedgehog. We're playing uh, Motorsport Manager at the moment as well. We're playing Space Engineers. And we're playing Star Sector. And we're playing Satisfactory. So we have five games at the moment. Satisfactory is every Sunday. A new episode comes out. And the rest of the series are four episodes a week. Except Factorio, which is three episodes a week. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thank you.